This is day one of remodeling my room, doing a 360 makeover. I've been this whole plan. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to fully get to the point where I'm like satisfied with my room so far right now. It's just at a point where I'm not, I don't even know what it is. So we're gonna do a 360 makeover. I'm gonna be documenting this whole experience. First thing I wanna do is be able to get rid of all the clothes or everything I don't need. I'm not using no more, but we're gonna take everything out. I have my trash bag right here. We're gonna be watching as the seven deadly sins and then make my bed, do everything else. And yeah, I'm also eating tamales. I don't know if you guys can see them right there. Okay, so this is how my room looks right now, and it's a little bit embarrassing, but I'm going to show you guys because this is not the end result. It's not going to stay like this. I promise y'all I'm going to try my best and get this done either by today or at least tomorrow so we can start the week good. But this is how it looks. So I needed the drill for something. That's how it's looking up there so far. I changed for my laundry to basket to be right there. Then I changed the little two baskets from the bottom to the top. So this is my jeans, my sweaters, my pajamas. Then I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But uh, this is how I have it so far. It's not going to stay like this, obviously, again. Um, this is just to clean out my room and to get rid of everything that I'm not using. Which, that's the bag right there. As you guys can see, this needs literally a whole makeover. But... I think we're gonna do a few like part one, part two kind of deal uh, video porque I don't think we'll be able to get the end result in one video. We're gonna try to do multiple parts so we can get all the details, all the experience here. But uh, yeah, that's how my room is looking so far and we're gonna fix it. We're gonna do something about this. Um, we still gotta paint this, still remodel do a makeover to my closet i have a layout that i want to do um i'm gonna make my dad do it <laughs> basically it's the honestly but oh yeah so at least we're getting probably like i want to say at least 70 percent of our clothes out because i honestly don't use them they're a waste of space and i just want to buy new clothes that i'm actually going to take care of them use them constantly and they're not gonna be just there building dust so yeah we'll we'll see how it ends i'll show you guys the end result after cleaning this all up but uh like i said it's gonna be a few parts before we get the actual end result of all of this whole makeover we are doing the unbelievable and we are actually going to sleep with this mess it is 12 in the morning i am changing to my pajama i went out to eat with my friend then i did a haircut today so that took the rest of my day from what you guys saw it's already too late so we're gonna go um start from where we left it off today tomorrow and i'm grabbing my pajamas from here um so hopefully tomorrow we get everything done and get ourselves in a room situated. Just so you, just so you guys can know, um, I don't have any pants on. I took them off. We're gonna put them on. Okay. Anyways, okay. Going by color with this organizing system because. I found it better and more aesthetically pleasant. If I only had like grays and nudes colors, it would be easy to organize our clothes, but I do have different, different colors. So we decided to put all the dark colors in the back. Light colors are in the front and it makes the closer looks 
clean and more bigger if that makes sense we're gonna finish all this mess back here and yes i'm sleeping with this mess in my room how i don't know i'm just gonna turn off the lights imagine that my room is clean and call it a day driving right now to go drop off the clothes that we took out we're also going to be dropping off the books notebooks that i'm not using anymore i just emptied them out i took every single uh page that i wrote on took it out made it look like new and i've been dropping it off at the local library i don't know what they do exactly with them i think they just take book donations like actual like books no notebooks but I still do it, so like, it's not my problem anymore, it's their problem. <laughs> okay guys, we made a hill, and we do not have to get out of the car at all. We can just drop it off at that little section right there. And we're gonna do quick, because tengo este trauma de que de repente alguien va a venir, and they're gonna like, let me lock the doors real quick too, like damn. Um, so these are the notebooks we're donating. Literally, they're like agendas and they're like um, just notebooks getting it. Ah! My dad just cleaned this car. Anyways. Oh, somebody wanted to donate that one. Anyways. Always be aware of your surroundings. You never know when there's gonna be a crackhead and like just showing out of nowhere like in the scary movies. Let's go to our next location. It's funny how the donation place or the donation thing that I come to always to drop off the clothes, it's next to a liquor place. And it's just, I don't know why I think it's funny that people come and buy liquor and there's like a donation for clothes. So we're going to get off the bags from the back and then we're going to head home and try to finish the rest of the freaking room. <laughs> 